Good morning, everybody. It's time to do an update on my Bonanza, my vintage Bonanza little trailer that I posted a few weeks ago. This one here. Anyways, I've been doing some stuff to it. First of all, I had to change these things right here. So there you go. Because the other ones would not fit. Those ones there, I could not hook up to my trailer hitch. Anyways, let's go inside and I'll show you what I've been doing. Okay. So I've found a couple of leaks up in the ceiling. So what I did is I ripped the whole ceiling down so I could find the leak. And it turns out there was just a little bit tiny, a little bit tiny pinhole just up around here. Right about there, I believe it was. And then I found another one over here, right there. So I got up on the roof and sanded it all down and put some flex seal on it to uh, seal it and it seems to be working. So now I got to put this all back together. But before I put the ceiling on, I'm going to redo the whole roof up there on the outside. It's just not easy. I've already started, but I have lots to do. So anyways, as you can see, it's all painted inside. I took the covers down. All the lights are off. So I've got lots of work to do, putting everything back together. Now I took it up to a uh, RV specialist company and they checked out this propane stove. It's the original one. They found one tiny leak in the propane line, so they fixed it. It was only a small part, cost about four bucks. And I went and bought these panels here for my backsplash. So I'm gonna put that all around there and put it in here, etc. Try to get the covers back up again. And then I'll put the ceiling back. I'm going to uh, use cedar paneling up on the ceiling like I did in my van, so. But I gotta make sure the roof is all completely done on, on the outside. Make sure there's no more leaks than putting a rubber roof on it. So that should solve the problem. I've done that before on other campers I've had over the past few years. So I'll just get up on the ladder and show you the roof. It's quite the mess. It's a lot of rust up there I have to get rid of before I can put the rubber roof on. I'll just have to set this camera down for a minute. Now I put some of the rubber roof on last night, but it was not a good idea because I think it rained a little bit, which it wasn't supposed to. So it hasn't dried properly. Anyways, I'm just going up the ladder here. And because it got wet, there's more rust again. Anyway, this is what the uh, roof of my trailer looks like. A lot of rust, I have to sand it down, use rust remover. This is the part I did last night. But as you can see, I either didn't get it on thick enough or it rained last night because there was water on here when I got up this morning. Anyways, I'll have to redo this part and I got all that left to do. I got my work cut out for me, but it'll be well worth it when it's all done. Now if I can get back down this ladder without falling, that'd be a good thing. One step at a time. Now I do have to replace this bumper here. It's all rusted out. So I will do that. And I also had new tires put on. 
and the wheel bearings have been redone. So everything's good. Anyway, here's a, another view of the inside. It's quite a mess right now because I got everything in there. But I took the bunk bed out for now. I may put it back or I may not. I think I might leave it off. I don't really need it. But I'll hang on to it in case anybody else wants it if I ever sell this trailer, which I probably will eventually. Anyways, that's my update for now. So come on back to see when it's all finished. Now I may do a video of me redoing the roof once the weather cooperates so I can get it done. Hopefully this weekend. Anyways, that's about it for now. Again, thanks for watching. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you're into, interested in this type of thing. <sighs> I want to get out camping, but I got to get this done too. So work, work, work. But then camping, here I come. Thanks again. Bye for now.